How are you all? Vince Roman from Burn Stainless in a new episode of Vince in Shorts. Haven't been on a video here for a little while, but uh, noticed that there are some interests in the videos that we have posted on YouTube, so we thought we'd uh, resurrect this and put a few more of these uh, videos out there to try to inform you about Burn Stainless products, about what's going on in the exhaust world. And today what we're gonna be doing is talking about Burn Stainless mufflers. So uh, Burn Stainless has been making for several years now a lightweight stainless steel muffler that has been used for many forms of uh, racing. As uh, neighborhoods have become closer and closer to racetracks, uh, many racetracks now are, have even more stringent exhaust noise requirements than even street cars. For example, Laguna Seca Raceway, <clears throat> they have a days now where they are at like 90 and 92 decibels. Um, some days are unlimited and those are the days of the big events at the track, but um, for high performance driving days, for class days, or even just for club racing, there are pretty stringent limits. And for example, at Laguna Seca, a standard uh, Porsche GT3 streetcar that would uh, pass all the legal requirements of driving in the United States or in California will actually fail at Laguna Seca because those cars use um, valves that open the exhaust systems and allow them to be uh, fully open at wide open throttle and that's not a part of the federal test regulation, so they don't have to pass it there, but at Laguna Seca, they have to pass it. So what do those guys do? That's where these bufflers have started coming into play. And Laguna Seca is not the only place, but many drag strips around the nation, other road racing tracks, uh, even boat racing and such have uh, limitations on the sound. So that's why there was a need out there for a lightweight uh, exhaust muffler that would be very uh, low, res low restriction, uh, not per power, but be able to make these uh, stringent uh, requirements. Now, this is a line of these uh, mufflers that, that we've done. Um, they are made out of uh, 304 stainless steel. They're actually 20 gauge, which is 0 0.035 inch thick uh, material. It's very thin for a muffler. And, but stainless steel, because of the strength of stainless steel and the strength of stainless steel when it gets to temperature, um, still retains a lot of its strength. So we don't have to um, go to a material like titanium because um, a titanium muffler, though the material is very um, light and that is, uh, has a low density, um, it's not as strong as stainless steel. So a muffler that would be as strong as one of these stainless steel mufflers in titanium would have to be thicker and therefore it makes the weight not quite as dramatic as you would think that there would be. So I think for a muffler that would be as durable in titanium as one of these mufflers is in stainless steel, the strength would be comparable. And there are many instances where we've actually replaced uh, heavier titanium systems with lighter stainless steel systems, and even when weight is a bigger, uh, more stringent requirement, we can even go to materials such as Inconel. So um, now we don't make any of these mufflers here in Inconel, that would be something that would be a completely custom application because there's really just not a large market for that, but in, in certain um, areas it is. So uh, we make two mufflers. We make a single stage muffler, which is a straight through muffler, and then we also make a two stage muffler. Today we're only going to be discussing the single stage muffler, and we'll be doing a later video um, describing the two stage muffler and how it looks. So this is one of the mufflers. This is a um, three inch inlet, six and a quarter inch outside diameter muffler with a 17 inch overall length. The lengths that we specify are going to be the overall lengths, which are going to be three inches longer than the actual bodies as defined by the, these endpoints, because we have these inlet and outlet slips to slip over your um, tailpipes. The um, mufflers internally, we have a couple of different packings that we can use. Um, the standard packing is uh, fiberglass. Right here we show it with a lot of uh, masking tape around our little sample, but 
This is just your standard high temperature fiberglass that would be used in many glass pack type applications. We also have a stainless steel scrubble material. This is uh, something that is actually a lathe shaving. And actually when they make this material, they have to take a piece of stainless steel, they put it on a lathe, they set it up so it puts out a nice consistent uh, um, tailing and we make this material from that. And then also for some very heavy duty applications, we'll actually use the stainless steel mesh and that's gonna be something like for a, a rotary application or you know, a rotary application in an endurance situation where we might actually, normally we would combine this with the uh, scrubble, but um, in some cases, and very, very difficult, it's gonna be using all mesh. And now, this is the, the lightest, the cheapest, and the most effective in terms of sound deadening. So if your system can um, use, this is the best one to use. If it's too hot of a system or if you have too many, too many pressure fluctuations or just too much uh, heat going through that muffler, you'd want to upgrade to scrubble. And if that doesn't work, then I would upgrade to this material because this is going to be heavier, more expensive, and louder, but it is going to be durable. And the same, this is even more expensive, it's even more durable, and it's even more louder. Um, Many times we can use a combination of these materials and we'll talk about that um, here shortly. So um, I'm actually gonna pull apart this muffler. So one thing I forgot to tell you that it is uh, repackable. So uh, we have these uh, fasteners in the front that can be uh, removed and we can uh, actually go in and replace the packing materials. So let me pull that apart. Pre-loosened so you don't have to question my strength. Now you can question my strength. So after uh, using, removing the fasteners and using a little body English and some other uh, techniques that are very special to a uh, burn stainless shop, we can pull the muffler apart. So we have these uh, inserts that are used to hold the fasteners. And then in this particular size of muffler, which is the six and a quarter inch diameter, we are actually able to put two different materials in, in the muffler. So you'll see that we have the perforated core we have the scrubble material um, around the core, and then we put the, the fiberglass material on the back. In this case, we find this to be a very effective solution. We're getting the, the good sound absorption from the fiberglass. We're getting the durability from the scrubble, and not all combinations allow us to do that. In some of these smaller mufflers, such as this one, which is a four and a half inch diameter muffler, we only have room for one or the other. But on these larger ones, um, it's, it's very good. So um, it's very easy. I'm not going to do a complete uh, packing here, but the scrubble is wrapped around the, uh, the core. It is then wrapped with the uh, fiberglass and then is placed inside of the system and, or, and is indexed on some little stub tubes that are in on the inside. So the, the tube with the uh, packing material goes in, it actually indexes on these little stubs that are on the inlet and the outlet of the muffler. And then the uh, caps are just put back on. And again, a little bit of uh, body English to put these back together and to insert the fasteners. But it's a, it's a relatively easy um, procedure. I would recommend that you do check these things often. And even if you were to go in there and uh, loosen and unloosen the fasteners or uh, replace the fasteners, even if you don't remove it to repack it, it will make your life easier in the long run. The mufflers are available in many different sizes. As I showed you, the three inch by six and a quarter already 
This is a uh, two inch inlet muffler with a four and a half inch diameter, also with a 17 inch long body. And we do have the ability of making custom mufflers, custom lengths. So this is a uh, custom 34 inch muffler, no, sorry, this is a 26 inch long muffler, again, four and a half inch uh, body. So any of the mufflers that we do, that as long as you use the combinations of inlet size and uh, outside diameter of the body, we can make in pretty much any length. These are also another set of custom mufflers that were done for an application where the customer only required uh, a, to run a muffler. It didn't necessarily um, have to do anything and that's what the purpose of this muffler is. It's a muffler in name only, but they are available and, so, and, and they do actually do make a difference and, and they do take out, even just for com driver comfort, it does take out some of the uh, radical sound that you get. And we also, we happen to have a cut, uh, muffler in. We do have a muffler from one of our uh, customers. This is actually off of an off-road uh, trophy truck. And um, they brought it in just for us to do a repacking and to check the internals to make sure everything was, was copacetic. But again, this is a, a custom muffler and um, we can do that for your application if you require it. Uh, we've done these for many Corvettes that run side pipes, for Cobras that run side pipes, as well as pretty much any other hot rod that you might want to run side pipes on. This is a very good um, application to do. Well, that's it for this installation of Vincent Shorts, and please stay tuned as we put more of these together in the next several months. Thank you, and have a great day.